the hilarious house of frankenstein g'day guys how's it going my name is ozzy tash this particular show has been suggested to me by a few members on discord i've checked it out it only went for one season in canada back in the 1970s it's some sort of sci-fi comedy sort of sketch show that the kids used to watch we've got a clip here gronk from the hilarious house of frankenstein so let's just get into it i'm excited Gronk. Okay, so then you're Gronk. How are you today? Nice oh, to see you. Pretty good, pretty good. That's good. I want to ask you something. Were there any naval heroes in your family? Oh, you bet there were. Haven't you ever heard of Admiral Rupert Gronk? Who first spoke those immortal lines, don't give up the ship? No, what did he do? He gave up the ship. <laughs> no, 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 I mean real heroes, like, for instance, Nelson. What's a Nelson? No, 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 no. I mean... Hold on. What's a Nelson? Like in wrestling? What's a no, Nelson? I'll have to explain it to you. You always refer to books when you're not sure about anything. Well, you understand oh, that? Okay. You just look it up in any book. Sure. Now, this book tells us everything we ever wanted to know about Nelson. Really? Yep. What's it called? Everything we've ever really wanted to know about Nelson. Good. <laughs> Okay, for a second here, I'm a little bit confused. I'm thinking he's actually trying to teach the kids something about, you know, an explorer called Nelson. But I think he's just having a laugh. Is there a Nelson? I'm not sure. We're going to find out. This is really, really hilarious. I love the banter that's going on between them. It's quite funny. Um, We had a kid's show that I used to watch when I was a child called Agro. He was a puppet. Oh, my gosh, guys. Check it out. He does some really, really funny skits. Check it out on YouTube. Absolutely hilarious. He was a wicked, naughty little puppet, Agro was. Some of the stuff he said back in the, you know, the early 90s, there's no way you could put on TV now, man. No way. Nah, -uh, not going to happen. <laughs> hey. All right, let's okay. get to it. Sure. Now, here we are. It says that in 1805, the okay. British were at war with... Flying saucers from Mars. Flying saucers from Mars. <laughs> sure, they're dangerous. Sure. Hit them with a stick. What? Wrong. No. <laughs> Wrong. 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 They were at war with France. France. Okay. Now, this so was he's trying to read years history. Ago, you see? He's trying. Sure. The man in charge of the British fleet was... was Admiral Rupert Gronk. Admiral Rupert Gronk. No. <laughs> no. No. He wasn't in charge. It wasn't Rupert Gronk. He was just second in command. It was Admiral Nelson. <gasps> Nelson! Okay. And in his battles with the French fleet, he lost his... Wallet! Wallet! Sure. No. <laughs> it was broke right after the battle. <laughs> so I think he actually is... I think Frankenstein here actually is trying to give the kids a history lesson. But little Gronk here, he just keeps on interrupting, getting in the way, saying silly things just like Agro did, just like our Agro, the puppet I was talking about. So yeah, this is really, really cool. Having a great laugh. You can see Frankenstein, he's not happy. He's getting frustrated with little Gronk here. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He's like, you better be quiet, puppet. <laughs> sure. He doesn't leave. <laughs> Will you just pay attention to That's me? That's wrong. Come on, Gronk. Gronk. Get with it, babe. Gronk. All right. Sure. He lost an arm and oh. an eye. Oh, that's not Did good, is it? Did anybody find them? <laughs> I don't know if anybody found them or not, but that is not what we're getting at in our story here. I see. Everything we ever wanted to really know about Nelson is sure. right here. Then what happened? All right. He finally defeated the French at a battle called... The Battle of Disneyland. The Battle of Disneyland. Sure. <laughs> There was no battle of Disneyland. There wasn't? No. You mean nobody won? Oh, nobody was fighting over Was it a scoreless tie? Oh, well, you get off my back. Did Mickey Mouse win? No, not no. even Donald Duck, right? Oh, the pain. Gronk's killing Frankenstein. He, he's just going, oh, my gosh. I'm trying to teach you about this admiral. I'm trying to teach you about the importance of this battle. And you're talking about Disneyland and Mickey Mouse. <laughs> you can see the pain and the frustration in Frankenstein. It's 
absolutely hilarious. I can see the kids just laughing to this, having a good old time, watching this on like a Saturday morning or something. Would have been one of those weekend shows. Guys, in the comments, let me know. Did you watch it as a kid or did your kids watch it as kids? Man, this is absolutely hilarious. Okay. Okay. Just listen. Now, you know, sometimes you really get me uptight. <laughs> me? He defeated the French at the Battle of Trafalgar. Trafalgar. I used to know a square by that name. <laughs> you know what? A square. A square. <laughs> what do you mean? Look it up. <laughs> Look yeah. it up? A square? Well, I'll tell you something else. I'll tell you something else. You know what Admiral Rupert Gronk used to say? No, I don't. Uh. What? He used to say, never say die. Yeah. Then what did he do? He died. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, that just give me memories of Agro, of the Muppets, and just so many cool things. The Muppets I loved watching when I was a child. Was this your version of the Muppets? Absolutely hilarious. I loved it. Is there more to this House of Frankenstein? Did you have like a show like the Muppets? Guys, in the comments, let me know. Leave some suggestions of some funny kid shows that I should watch. Really just want to have a laugh at the moment. And I want, I want you all to have a laugh with me. Okay, that was the video for today. If you liked it, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, share your memories of the House of Frankenstein, and please subscribe to the channel. That really helps me out. Cheers from and under. Take care. Bye.